um, you started recording? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, so figured with the new moon, I was going to have some fun and do a reading um, for the new Joker's card that's coming out under the new moon that we're going through right now. Um, so I'm just going to do a little intuitive spread. Um, I don't know, just kind of for the fun of it, see what happens, you know, what it's actually going to be. Uh, I think it'll be interesting. I just decided to do it in video format instead of writing it down and so forth. So, um, I've already, you know, kind of meditated on it a little bit and kind of come up with how I'm going to lay the cards out. Um, I think it'll be interesting. Um, I'm really curious about the new card. Everybody has speculations um, about what it's going to be. Um, and I'm kind of curious. Um, I wonder not only what it's going to be, but it, what's its story going to be. Every Joker's card has its own story. Um, so far with the new deck, we have Bang Pow Boom. Um, and Mighty Death Pop. So what's the third going to be? <coughs> Lastly, how is this Joker's card going to fare with the Juggalos? What's, you know, it seems like um, with the second deck a lot of Juggalos are like, man, not into it, you know, as much. Um, you're obviously still around. It's your voice and your opinion that you don't like the second deck, but you're still around to tell your story. But there's also the others, like myself, I love the new deck. I think it's... Um, some great art, at the very least. Um, so, wondering if it'll blow our minds or have us at each other's throat debating whether it's the crappiest Joker's card or the best. Let's see. So my first question is just, what's this new Joker's card going to be? Ooh. Well, it looks like it's gonna open up some doors for some jugglers that have been out in the cold. Maybe give, give us new hope, um, new growth. Um, shed some light into our life. Very positive card. And a helpful card. Um, this, this juggalo, who's, you know, he's a worker. He gets his little pass, you know, backstage pass. He's helping out the, the juggalos that are, kind of had it rough, man. Um, see, he's got a crutch and everything, so this might help us out. Um, on some level, um, probably on a more earthly level, because it's ducats and it has to do with life. Um, so maybe help in our day-to-day -day lives. Our second question was about the new Joker's card story. What is the story this card is going to tell? Oh.
well. You know, the Juggalos have been targeted by the FBI as being a gang. You see the FBI gang affiliated. Um, and this card is, of course, about being caught, but it's inverted. Which kind of is flipping the situation around. Um, so this story, I think, is about overcoming these stereotypes that the that the jugglers as a whole have have endured um, unjustly, um, undeservingly. So that could be very interesting. <laughs> um, it seems kind of in line of what's been going on in the juggalo world. We've gone to court over this and so forth. So it seems only right that. Well, I hope hope there's a song about this. <laughs> um, that make me the coolest witch in the world, I think. But um, at the very least, I think it's going to be about overcoming uh, adversity. And looking at this here, it's about you know helping hand of getting out of diversity. So adversity. So having a storyline about overcoming adversity would really help jugglers overcome their adversity in their life, their challenges in their life. Makes sense. Cards are coming together. Third question. What's the outcome? What, how are the jugglers going to receive this new Joker's card, the third of the second set? See this as a sign of not the jugglers as a whole not perceiving it as very enlightening. Um, you're expecting quite a bit out of a Joker's card. You're expecting spirituality. You're expecting advancement. That's what it's supposed to be about, right? Um, but I think it might be more not as. What's the word? Not as deep as you think it should be. Um. That's the hermit inverted. It's falling upon deaf ears. Yeah. So, um, there could be great potential of missing the point. So I find that too. People think that the songs, oh, it's just, you know, whatever song. Oh, they're just lyrics. No. You know, maybe to you, maybe at this point. So that's a good point, too, is that um, maybe you should look into this new Joker's card. If it seems like, uh, you know, not that good of a card, you might look into it deeper. Um, this could be a very clear indication that maybe we should look at it with a little bit more... Um, intuition, you know, more of the inner voice. Because you go out into the woods to separate from anyone, so you can hear that inner voice. So maybe it's something you shouldn't judge until you've had some quiet time to really listen to. Um, which I think is an issue sometimes in, you know, the juggalo community. Um, sometimes you really need to let the music sink in a little bit. You can't just judge it right off. So, definitely always good advice to never, you know, just judge a book by its cover. Because really, on Hollow Wicked, all we're getting is a name and a picture. And the picture might lead you to believe it's something that it's not. Which happens a lot with things. The so whole don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, so, anyway, that's... That's my reading for the new Joker's card. See what, how much of this comes true. <laughs> um, should be really interesting. Whoop whoop. Much clown love and less be.